Hello. So here we have our uh, common emitter amplifier, and we're going to um, take a look about take a look at its you know behavior as an amplifier, as well as how it may be affected by loading effects if we connect a load to it. Uh, first of all, we've already seen uh, you know this was a voltage amplifier that we've designed to have a gain of negative fifty voltage gain. Uh, and so the expected behavior is that if I provide an input signal. Uh, what I'm going to get is an inverted amplified version of that input signal, uh, where the amplitude of the output signal should be um, 50 times the amplitude of the input signal. So in the ideal case, let's say I apply an input signal, uh, which is a, a sinusoidal signal with an amplitude of 200 millivolts, so something like 0.2 cosine of 2 pi times 1000 T volts. So it's a sinusoid of one kilohertz. Uh, I can represent that signal graphically in the time domain. And this is what it will look like. A sinusoid at one kilohertz with amplitude of point volts and so oscillated between point volts and negative uh, point two volts and negative point two volts. What I expect to see for my output is A times B in, or negative 50 times 0 0.2, um, which will be negative 1 times the cosine, sorry, negative 10, times the cosine, of 2 pi 1000 T volt. And so important thing to notice is that it is inverted with respect to the input signal. But since this is a linear voltage amplifier, we um, can rest assured that the amplitude may change and the phase may change. The frequency shouldn't change, right? The frequency content of the output signal with respect to the input signal. So going to be inverted, phase shift, and amplified, um, amplitude change, but same 1 kilohertz in frequency. So this will go now from 10 volts to negative 10 volts. And that's V out versus time. Uh, and, and this will be the ideal behavior. Now, what will happen if I connect a load resistor to this circuit? Um, let's imagine I connect a load, which I'm going to represent with this resistor RL, of 50 kilo ohms. Um, how will my, my circuit performance change? How will the, the gain, effective gain of the circuit change? So let's imagine um, connect RL equals 50 kilo ohms to the output of the circuit. And now, if I am to calculate my new voltage gain, right, it's going to be negative total resistance at the collector divided by total resistance at the emitter. The overall resistance at the collector now, when I look at it, um, is actually, if I look at it from, from V out, uh, it's going to be CC2 is going to be a short, so I see RC going to a, an AC ground in parallel with RL going to ground. And so it's RC in parallel with RL divided by little re plus RE1, because again, CE also bypasses RE2. And so that's going to be negative 20K in parallel with 50K divided by 50 plus 350. Um, negative 15k divided by 400, which is going to give me a gain of minus 37.5. So we have around a 25% drop in voltage gain, effective gain of the circuit, when I add that load. Um, again, this is um, an undesirable effect, and the reason for it is um, that 
RL and RC form a voltage divider at the output of the amplifier. So if I look at this amplifier, it has an R in value of R1 in parallel with R2 in parallel with beta times little re plus re1. And, you know, we can say it's going to be lower than 20k, but let's imagine that we still can approximate it as 20k. It's going to be more like, you know, closer to 15. Um, and r out uh, was rc in parallel with little ro, which was approximately equal to rc, which is 20k. So when I look at the model for this amplifier, what I have is a voltage amplifier we typically represent with the following block diagram, an input resistance, an ideal dependent voltage source, A times V in, V in being the voltage across the input resistance, and then an output resistance R out. This is connected to the load, RL, this is V out, um, and this is V in. So my Nominal gain is negative 50, uh, but again, that's, you know, a, a good approximation or, or an accurate approximation when V out is connected uh, to an open circuit, meaning an, a low resistance of infinity. Um, in a good voltage amplifier, typically we want to make the output resistance very small precisely because of that, so that we can connect reasonable uh, sizes of load resistances without loading the amplifier. Uh, but we can see that, you know, 50 kilo ohms is not a, a small value for a load resistance. It's a fairly reasonable value. Uh, but even that value provides substantial loading to a common emitted amplifier. And so we're going to be seeing other configurations and how we can cascade um, different amplifier stages in a way that we optimize, you know, uh, some of these values. But for now, we can, you know, just remember about the common emitter amplifier. It's a voltage amplifier. It is inverting. It's pretty good with regards to gain. Uh, input resistance could be higher, but you know, typically if we can make it in the range of tens of kilo ohms, that's not too bad. Um, output resistance, you know, typically in the range of kilo ohms, um, it's it's pretty high. So something that we definitely want to improve. Thank you.